Thanks, viewer, for joining me on this trip to Lake Como, Italy. My name's Don. Lake Como is a picture postcard setting of incredible beauty. The town of Como is located at the southern end of the lake, which I'll illustrate with some maps. This map illustrates the large size of Lake Como, with Milan to the south and Switzerland to the north. There are lots of little towns and ports on Lake Como, but I only visited the town of Como. This map shows the major autobahn, the A2, which leads to Como. This medieval drawing illustrates that the town of Como has been around for a very long time. A 19th century photograph of Lake Como shows that in many ways there has been little change. Lake Como has been famous as a beautiful place for a long time. This 19th century musical score uses Lake Como as its theme. Let's take a look at some of the artwork associated with Lake Como. The area, because of its beauty, has been a target of artists and photographers alike. And near the etching of the lake. This is a mosaic illustrating the lake. An acrylic painting showing the large mountains that back the lake. This little church is a focal point for many artists in this watercolor. I do like this drawing and it illustrates the rich villas that surround the lake. This painting is almost like a photograph. Let's quickly go through some watercolors. Uh, no, this is not a painting, but it could almost be a painting. I think we've had enough paintings and we'll look at some photographs. The lake is surrounded by hotels and villas.
Sailing is a popular sport on the lake. There were a lot of restaurants that overlook the lake, and it's very nice to sit out and enjoy your cappuccino. Here's a per, uh, panoramic shot of the lake involving four photographs. Lots of tourists like to take the ferry for a cruise around the lake. The hilly nature of the alpine surroundings makes for very narrow and steep stairways. I enjoyed my two night stay in Lake Como, but my hotel was very expensive. Here are a few uh, pictures of the town of Como itself. It's not very remarkable. Around the lake there's lots of very old buildings and monasteries and it could be good fun to explore the ruins. Another of the magnificent villas on the lake. People here are very wealthy. This Italian couple enjoy the springtime sunshine. Let's finish with a quick look at some of the churches. <laughs> 